contorted by the contamination. The spent nuclear fuel that Toxanol dumped in the surf had detrimental effects on the marine habitats, while the overflowing landfills contaminated the groundwater. Combined, this sent their world hurtling on an inevitable road to ruin. Careful, nothing's sneaking up on you. They're short of breath and death to this zone. Better take care. He who half breathes, half lives. That's the leftover you're looking for. You miss the sky, don't you? Fire has it. Sickening. Tippy Tapper. Refreshing. He says that's enough to get the Mekton functional. You'll have an engine, a fuel soaker, a gun and a gathering net, but no armor, nor enough oxygen supply. <laughs> He made a suction device so the Mekton can use the black tar as an instant refuel. You can also use it to clear oily goo puddles so you can pass and access hard to get to areas. 
He's been working on another project for the Mecton, a cannon, but it needs ammunition, and by that he means the scripts. He says if they're trained right, they'll turn into a distraction for the jumbo puff. The best way to find scripts is to go talk to Moog. He knows the ins and outs of every breathing thing left alive after the apocalypse. Unfortunately, this means you'll have to venture farther out into the dead zone than Moog's camp on the steep depot. Once you find Moog, he'll be able to give you directions to where you'll find scripts. It's a little feisty and tough critter, a perfect fit for a live ammunition, if you ask him. Scronky. You can worry about stopping later. The Grease Monkey's Mecton is built sturdy, just like himself. Can you imagine how this place used to look before the dead oil flood? Might want to hold your breath before you head any further. You're about to witness the breathtaking vistas of what's known as the Dead Zone. That over there is Steepo Depot, the cliffside that Moog hangs on to. Playtime is over. Wonder who put it here? But sir. In Mo Diava. Oh, what who fuchu is quite a Yoshkaba. This one's impressed to see you out here. He figured you'd be dead by now. Not many are as tough and clever as you must be. Kalba. Claims he goes after the most dangerous game, huge monsters. Moog says that all your power doesn't do you a bit of good if you're not willing to pull the trigger when the time comes. Out there with the monsters, it's kill or be killed. Which will it be for you? You might have a steady aim, but you need to be sure that you pick your targets with care. It's hard to make those life or death decisions for others, but someone's got to do it. Otherwise, they'll do it themselves and you know they'll miss. Claims he mostly kills whoever he doesn't like. 
Badayan Analov, Mushtakabalanu Kondunash. Says it's wild that the world seems to be coming back, but he supposes that means more monsters for him to shoot. Gets why you're thinning the herd so hard, but he wishes you'd leave some monsters for everybody else. Says you should give up on working with the stubborn myriad. He keeps trying to put out their lights and they keep putting up new ones. Says they keep the monsters away. He needs them closer, not farther. In more. But enough of that, right? In more. He says the wildlife, nature, has changed and turned against us. Instincts of survival took over when the world changed. He's not sure about their veggie diet anymore, and if it's changed, who knows what it's done with the chemical composition of their body output. Right now, though, he feels he's come to a point where he's got a pretty clear idea on the whereabouts of monsters, both tall and short. Thinks that it all hangs on the tree of life. When it started to fail, everything changed. Moog says you must learn to walk before you can run. It takes practice before you can call yourself a monster hunter. Fortunately for you, he can help. He understands you need to start off with something small before you go big. There's no better place to start than a squip cave. Hunting down a couple of these little critters for yourself should keep you on your toes. Says it's not far at all. Fortunately for you, the squips seem to have acclimatized themselves to the otherwise uninhabitable dead zone. Time for another day to begin. Wait, it's the script hole up. Place is just filled with critters.
Once the volatilization from the nuclear waste evaporated, a volatile gas rose through the soil and infested structures, even Toxanol's own buildings. So, in a way, they caused their own death. Oh, idea. Go knock the lid off that sludge truck. It'll fill the place up and you can get up to that entrance there. There's no time to look back. Too busy moving on. Strange not having the sky above. That's the good stuff. Watch those teeth. Looks like the switches need to be turned to match so enough charge can flow through the conductors. Just a few moves left, make them count. Good, that's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and Activate the framework. Are you sure you're going the right way?
Kaboom! Feel that. It's a lack of air. There's a place and time for everything, but for that city scenario, it's already come and gone. behind you. Yeah, the future is in your hands, so take care of it. Ready to ride. Just sneaking around. These steel legs were made for walking.
Nothing's more important right now than this. Take matters back into your own hands. Great view from up here. Time to figure out how you'll spend your night. Can't rely on technology all the time. Smell that burning fuel. Bang Shelter 7C should have been stated right there in toxinol letters. A hero has to stand on its own.
See what this thing can do. History is nothing but a series of stories. Mount up. Time to walk on your own legs. Every day is a new chance to fulfill your destiny. Let's see. This place is called Puff Duff Bluff. Boom bangs around here. Boo jaw. So and go so on. Of the canty tulofa. This little fellow feels the world's on the edge of blowing itself up. He feels it's inspiring to see someone out there still banging away at it. Claims it's easier to make green by selling bullets than using them. You deserve... Says that life's kind of like a few. Wonders what you would do to put that 
Bang! Tasa? Thought that the Halitin Tasa? Can't see why you'd join up with the Myriad. Tuto. Only way to improve. Tuto. But. Hagi, Avri Higov, Gunlaf, Tutolumafa. He'll take the family secret with him to the grave, which could be any day now, with the world end. Tutarada, Kutto. Says they really do come in handy. Gunlaf, Tutteka. Hilse Hutterniko. He could sit up. Tutteka. He for Tutteka. Glad you. Mehinalaha. Boom says he likes you. Hagi, Avri Higov. Has plenty to do. Let's see. It's another motor juice station running on empty. You'd better get a move on if you want to change things. All fired up. Bang Shelter 7B is still there, open and ready to shelter. Your head is still spinning.
Imagine that. You could just go to a place like this to get a proper meal back in the old world. He says that's enough squips to sustain the Mecton's claw crane cannon with infinite ammunition. Well done. It's not his cleanest invention so far, but it gets the job done. Use it to suck up gooey oil puddles in the Mecton's way so you can pass. Gizmo's made vehicles before to confront the Jumbo Puff himself, but failed. But this time, it's different. The Mecton will be strong enough to do the job. It's time to put a stop to the World Eater now, otherwise he fears the damage it's caused to the tree already will be too much to handle. He asks you to not even think about taking on the Jumbo Puff on foot. You'll need the Mecton to do the job, take his word for it. There's time to improve the Mecton before you confront the Puff. There are more wreck boxes out in the dead zone with gear you should be able to equip the Mecton with on your own. He got the idea to build the Mecton when he found a big crate containing the metal frame for something Toxanol had named an exoskeleton. Gizmo wants to help if he can. <laughs> Says they don't have anything you'd want. Up. Is sorry to see you turn so bad. As a kid, you could have gone either way. Up. Understands you have things to do. <laughs> Gizmo wants to help if he can. <laughs> so, Says you covered the important things already. <laughs> <laughs> 